Hey yo, ten shots, six blunts blowing through the session. Dragging on a split, free and dragging on a clip. A MC in a booth, an assassin on the roof. I'm just waiting to shoot. Make it hurry up and die. Uh, Grayish chunk of spears. You would think you had drama with an African. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Don Donna, aka Chef. I'm here with my brother, Ote 5150. I gotta say it like that because we got the fucking hottest tag team in the motherfucking game. Slice Boogie, the King of Queens, the radioactive Poppy, slaying chicks all over the fucking planet. Oh, Y'all know what it is. Listen, fellas, what's really good? Talk to me. What up? Queens in the building, you know, 5150. You All right, so, so I now I gotta ask. I was like, yo, I know, I know we're gonna keep a gangster with slice. That's not even a question. We all know that that's how shit's gonna go down. But every time I see fucking Rivera at any event, they got the hottest chicks around this guy. And I'm like, yo, like, what are you doing that? Dude, you just that dude. I know it's the Joe Rib. Salute to Joe Rib because you got a word for Joe Rib. Real shit. But like, yo, what's up with all these dime chicks? It's like a stable of, of hot chicks in every city. Listen. I, listen, they all want to know what that tongue do, you heard? I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Say, why are you quiet for? We got the homies oh, on. Look, cause I'm listening to him, man. I, I, I swear to God, he's the only male wrestler with an OnlyFans page. Whoa! <laughs> I got Whoa. the OnlyFans, dog. Whoa. Every time, every time I see, every time I see him either on Instagram or anything else, I keep telling to myself, I swear to God, this dude's about to make him an OnlyFans page. He'll be the first male wrestler ever, and he'll get paid too, probably. So I'm kind of jealous about that. Oh man, y'all funny. Man. I, I, listen, the thing is this, man. I don't know how to turn the poppy off, and I love women. I'm a single man. I love women. Right. So listen, to all the women listening, if your man ain't treating you right, if your hubby ain't treating you right, if your boyfriend ain't treating you right, look, just come kick it with me. I'll put you at the table. We'll have some bottles. You have a good time. You understand? And then if anybody gets stupid, I just had a gangster over here slice handle at me. Yes. Slice bug gates in the house. Yeah, hey, man. man. No, I got to ask you guys a question, man, because you guys went to Mexico a couple of weeks ago. And Slice Boogie, dude, I swear to God, I thought you were going to cause a riot when you went into the ring and you <laughs> said what you said. When I was a kid, I was here before. Now I'm growing up, and this place is a dump. I said, oh, this dude's about to get killed before they leave Mexico. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. That's what we, we, we there to cause a scene. We there to cause a riot, like. And we're not from Mexico. We're not there to, you know, we're not making believe that we grew up eating tacos and drink and putting fucking tagine on our fruit. Nah, like we grew up in New York, Puerto Rico. Like we, we from where we from, and that place just happens not to like our bloodline and where we from. And fuck them, you know. Right. Well, I'm glad you guys made it out of Mexico because I was getting scared. They're about to get arrested. They're not leaving Mexico at all. We made it going straight to Puerto Rico. Die. Yo, but it's crazy because after that, like you just said with the Puerto Rico thing, y'all just won belts in Puerto Rico too. Yep. Yeah. I, IWA, so, new, new IWA tag team champions, baby. New so IWA that's got to feel. Champs, that's got to be. Vega for bringing this out there. That's got to be real crazy because the last time we seen a tag team, LAX 5150, they won the impact belts, went to Puerto Rico, did what they did. Now we get 5150, y'all win the tag team belts, you go back home, and y'all bring those titles back home again. So y'all actually going through this crazy process where at such a quick stage, you're dominating the scene and you going back home, and we dominating back home as well. So salute to y'all real talk because I don't think a lot of people understand that Puerto Rico culture shit where if it has that flag, we hold something real dear to it. 
It's it's we're very prideful this shit. And early in y'all careers, y'all already fucking killing it. So what the fuck y'all on that on the real? Good looking, man. We wish there was fans there, man. There was no fans there. It's COVID shit is fucking everything up. Yeah, yeah, man. I saw that kind of took away a moment. And, you know, it, it takes it away, man. You, know, you, you try to stay focused, put on a good match, put on a good show for the people. But when there's no people there, you know, it, it, whether you like it or not, it, it takes away some of the magic. You know what I'm saying? So we hope we can go back there, defend the belts in front of a fucking crazy crowd. And I, I think I don't think the whole crowd will actually be behind us. You know, there's always those Puerto Ricans that be like, "Oh, y'all New York Ricans, yeah." You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel yeah. like a large percentage are gonna be like, "Fuck that!" They Puerto Ricans and they repping the and for the whole United States. Like, so I feel like we'll have people behind us. Like, we just want but fans. Feel- you know, we want Danny wants to dance in front of some girls. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Puerto <laughs> Ricans got some. You know what I mean? I'll try to find wifey out there, but I'm there to put on, you know what I mean? I'm there to lay people Not down. Yeah. <laughs> we were in Puerto Rico. We was in Puerto Rico. I was trying to slash, slash like, what are we doing tonight? Like, are we going to La Placita? <laughs> <laughs> now, that was, was that your first time going to Puerto Rico in a while, or? My no. first time since I was, like, 17, 16, 17. I was. I was there the month before that wrestling out there, and then I was there in April wrestling out there. So I, I made a few trips to Puerto Rico this last year. Bless nice. that. Nice. So now I feel like, like Slice, you really like being hated. Like you like the fact that motherfuckers don't like you. Like it sets a switch on, and you're like, now it's time to put that fucking work in because I want you to not like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and I dig it. it it's you guys are like the perfect. Like the apples and orange, but y'all gel together because you're obviously on that real, let me do that power game shit. Rivera's on the, let me fly, let me look good, let me dance around. You're on that all black your fucking eyes shit. So it's a it's a dope product when you're looking at them. And everything that you guys put out, it feels like home to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, And for so long, and we had talked about it, it's no disrespect to, to the luchadors. I love luchador shit. But when you thought of Spanish wrestlers, most of them were Mexicans when we were growing up. Like, we didn't have a lot of Puerto Ricans that were doing it at a high level. Even though they were doing their thing, they weren't showcased with titles and shit. You guys are getting titles and showing, yo, listen, this is what the fuck we do. This is like, we're doing everything for the culture, and we support the fuck out of that. Yeah, so just to piggyback on what you were saying, it's like, it's like Slice. Like you said, Slice is this powerhouse gangster, the all black. Me, I'm dancing around, I'm being fly, dressing all, you know, my style, my swag. We staying true to who we are. You understand? Yeah, we 5150 LAX. Yeah, we running with Conan and Julia Smokes and Homicide. But we staying true to who we are because when you stay authentic to who you are and you're doing you, like, that's what resonates better on screen. And what I've seen and what I noticed is that, you know, any segments that we've had lately on MLW TV, um, it's been, you know what I'm saying? It's been one of the better spots on the show. You know, people are, are really messing with us. They're fucking with us the long way because our shit is true. Our shit is real. It's authentic. It's not bullshit. And, 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 and no, I'm not, let's see, hold on. I, and I know I'm taking your shit and I want you to go in. But I don't think a lot of people realize that y'all have actually defended the titles more than anybody else that has an MLW belt underneath them. Since y'all won it, no one has defended the belts more than you guys. I didn't even look at it like that. It's facts. Uh, <laughs> that's what's up. We fighting champs. I mean, we we're just getting started. Like y'all act like we having to two be two singles guys from New York who joined up and then like it just got lit from there. Like and we not even like at our peak. We not even halfway at our peak, like development wise. Like it's yeah, just it's too awesome. scary for what's gonna happen. Like we, we gotta have- like once we oh. wrestle like the Hardys or the Young Bucks or once we wrestle the tippy top, yep. we just gonna get way nicer, way iller. And you think, look at every tag team. Like, look at who's the best wrestler of all time. Like, think like a lot of people say Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. They were both in tag teams. But I don't want to be Marty Janelli. I don't want to be Jim Neidhart. You know, R.I.P. I want to be Bret Hart. I want to be Shawn Michaels. You think this motherfucker Danny don't want to be Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart either? He's not gonna yep. be second fiddle either. So, like, if we go, like, if we happen to become, like, the illest tag team and then we do single shit, we're going to both be 
champions as well. Like, we're not settling for second best. So it's just going up from here. We haven't even been able to showcase what we could do on MLW TV yet. I'm telling you. Yeah. This, oh, my, boy, my boy Slash be telling me, I want to do this, 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 and this. And we just haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. Trust me, when we get a chance to pop off, it's a wrap. Like, it's a wrap. People are really going to see what's up. Because like he said, he's a single wrestler. I'm a singles wrestler. I wrestle the best wrestlers in the world. The people that have been following me for a while, like, I've been in the ring with the best wrestlers in the world already. I've went, you know, toe-to-toe with Moxley and the Omega and the Phoenixes. And you understand? Like, I've been in the ring with the Rocky Romeros. I've been in the ring with the best of the best. And, you know, when we get to really pop off, and like he said, they put the good tag teams in there, FTR, the Briscoes, the Hardys, Young Bucks. Give us the best, bro. We want the best. We'll show you what's up, bro. Until then, we're going to keep killing all these nepotism legacy families in Lucha Libre and pro wrestling. But that's what MLW is going to feed us. That's like taking a Yorkie and throwing it into a pit bull cage. We're yeah. going to pull up, spit them out until you really bring us the pit bull fight. No, I, I know Danny mentioned about, or a slice mentioned about being Puerto Rico with no fans. Now, you guys just did the show down in, in uh, Dallas on last week. Was it was a lot of was it completely packed or was it they following the COVID rules down in Dallas? It was a good show, you know. It was it was it was it was a lot of people there, you know. Unfortunately, we didn't get to wrestle the Von Erics because they yeah, yeah. sending doctors notes from home and shit. Talk about they don't yeah. want to work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know we, we so they got shook, man. They got shook and, and then try to they got shook and then try to blame it on COVID. Uh, yeah. Man. I mean, that's, that's, they that's, call COVID. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. We we don't write we don't write the story, you know. We didn't catch it. We showed up. We showed out. We did yeah, our and, job. And, and, and the and thing is, out, then we went out to Dallas and party. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing <laughs> is, you guys, city, we partied in their home with their females. Oh yeah. shit! Oh so, shit! And the thing is, you guys are traveling more than they are, and and you are fine. They're in Hawaii in the little habitat, and they got COVID. So, man. I can't call it, man. I can't call it. I would have loved to just smoke them in front of their own hometown. It would have felt good, but, you know. I would have to and watch Slice beat the snot out of them, and after we pin them, just take the yellow roses and pluck them on top of their body. Well, you know, hopefully, it, hopefully in March for WrestleMania weekend. Hopefully there, man. It's it's crazy because a lot of people. Are, you mean for MLW so, weekend? Yeah, for yeah, yeah WrestleMania weekend. Oh, everybody WrestleMania weekend. You know, like, ain't no fucking Mania weekend. It's the MLW hey, weekend. Yo, everybody knows the WrestleMania weekend. They all the wrestling go there. You know that shit goes, man. Everybody, everybody trying to make some money. Shit. Every time we talk w- to somebody. He got to piss somebody off. We were just talking to Alex Kane, and he want to fuck with him. We talking to you people, he wants to fuck with you. Like, yo, so basically, a lot of people on social media were trying to say that, like, y'all going to Dallas, and there's no way that the Von Erics are going to lose. I thought it was hilarious because matchup-wise, they don't match up with you, and people thought y'all don't match up with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't understand that whole vibe, and and I don't know. I know... And I'm gonna, I gotta throw you under the bus, bro. But you're a big Von Eric guy, so how did you see this coming out? Now that we got them on here, how did it play out? How would it have played out? Of course, we were going to win. Slice Boogie and and, and Danny were going to win. Period. No question about it. But let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest, though. It's favoritism, it's the binarics, it's Dallas, there's history there for the last 30 years. I don't give a shit about no history. You think Slice give a fuck? You think Slice went to social studies class? You think Slice did not take a American history class? I studied history in American history class. I was passing notes in the back of social studies class. Teachers up there teaching something, I'm in the back passing notes like, do you want to go out with me? They had a 40-year job for a reason. You know what I mean? They had a 40 year job for a reason. They don't match up with us. Like they're not tougher than they're not tougher than us. They can't of course hold not. sticks better than us. Paul they're not strong. Like none of them is stronger than me. And none of them is as agile as Danny. So like how do they match up? They in the middle ground. You know what I mean? Like, where's their advantage? 
We already living rent free in their head. They're stupid. You ever hear them talk? They're, they're, they're fucking dumb. <laughs> just because we gangsters and this and that, we're intelligent. You know what I'm saying? We the Von Elwicks. We have a claw. That claw is our master. <laughs> They don't have the they don't have the muscle, they don't have the mind, they don't they don't have the tactics to beat us. Every time I see them come on my TV screen, I fall asleep. Oh, it's a yeah. binary promo. I wake me up in two minutes when they're done blabbering yeah, their dumb. I don't be believing they wrestlers. I be thinking they just like hillbillies that are FaceTiming their cousins and shit. Yeah. Cousins that they probably used to kiss growing up, like shit like that. Inbreds. Oh about- Lord. And the shots. And while we on, listen, while we on this call, I want to take a moment to give a special shout out, a birthday shout out to Julius Smokes, the Julius Smokes okay. birthday. Happy birthday. 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 birthday, Julius. Get get get. That's for Julius right there. That's for Julius. Yeah, we we we, we had him in we had him in the past show. That dude scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I literally hit my wallet because they do a pra 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 pra. What the Fuck the like, like as chaps fans like yep. for me what this dude saying because I don't know yep. what the fuck this dude saying. Let, Yo, let, no. me, let me be your doctor. Let me be your doctor. Let me be your doctor. I'm like what? Nobody does it like him, baby. No one does it like him. Up. Yo, that's, that's real shit. Like that be like. Yeah, yeah, just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He Yo, he was out right there. That, that's the best shit right there when he does that little spin in the middle, this man. right here, just like this. This is Julius Smoke. Yeah. The spinning. <laughs> Ain't nobody turned up like it. He turned up all the way, too. He, he has no off switch. Just shh. He killed Like, so we obviously know you guys are dominating right now. If MLW, because they do have that open door policy, I know it's getting credited to El Jefe, well, that motherfucker. But right now, who would you guys, if there was one tag team right now where you're like, yo, come in here and we want them. What's the tag team y'all want right now? Man, my dream tag team match, I want the Hardys. I do the same thing. I want the Hardys. And we in Charlotte, North Carolina next month. I'm just saying. I was going to say the same thing. I want the Hardys. And if that's not possible, send us the Briscoes. You want to fight? Ooh. Send us the Briscoes. I hey, Trev, like we got we got to take we got to take. You know what I'm saying? Learn, hard, Hardys would put us. You know what I mean? You got to fight the best fighters to be one of the greatest. You know what I mean? Send them all, man. Send FTR. Send tomato cans. If you fight tomato cans, people are not gonna respect it. You gotta fight the Fat. best, like Floyd. Floyd Mayweather is like, you know what I mean? Fight, he fighting who we gotta fight. We wanna fight like the best. Hardy's been doing it. Yeah. Hardy's a legendary team. You know what I'm saying? No, no young bucks are tough too. You no, know? but young bucks still. I don't feel like they caught up to the Hardys. Not yet. You know what I mean? In terms of legacy. Like I'm not listen. I'm not trying to hate on the young bucks. I think they they overrated. That's just me though. Nah, like, listen, hold up. I'm gonna cut you off right there. Listen, the young bucks. Listen, I got their book right here. First of all, oh young man, right now they the best tag team right now. In my opinion, the young bucks are the best tag team right now. So if they want to walk through a door or they are gonna open their door for us, we ready for that too. What's up? I, I me me and Nick Jackson in the ring. Shit. Lucha Bros too. Lucha Bros are tough too. That would yep. be crazy too. Yep. Phoenix and Penta. They used to wrestle at MLW anyway. I think they form an MLW tag yeah. team. Yes, they were. Send the Lucha Bros. Everything comes back around, baby. You know what I mean? It's on us now. You know. Imagine the Von Erics as champs. Like, who's gonna care? Who's gonna be like, oh shit? Like, I can't wait to see what the Von Erics are gonna do. <laughs> Nobody. Only, only- only when they go to Dallas, that's it. I don't even know if they. I don't even. I wasn't getting the vibe that in Dallas, like they was like kissing the ground. If me and Danny ever went to New York, and fucking someone else from a different state came, the fans it would be a whole different ball game. Niggas would be losing a shit in Dallas. Like there was some Von Eric fans there, but it wasn't like pandemonium. 
It wasn't 1985 or whatever the fuck was going on back then when girls were going crazy. <laughs> we go to New York, it's going to be crazy. If that Ooh. ever happens, I guarantee you. <laughs> going to have Brooklyn out. I'm going to have Queens out. It's going to be money makers, gangsters. I don't bring bitches to other states like that, but I'm going to have my bitches <laughs> out in New York. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I mean... I'm gonna call my local things, baby. Oh, they still love me, even though I left. Oh, we out there like wolf day. Oh, oh shit, the slice is gone. Dio said, I told you it's not just me who talks like this. It's not my fault. The slide boogie is gone right now. He woke he finally woke up. I'm but listen, saying, bro, New York is a movie. Don't you know what I mean? But this is this is what happens when they hot. They hot right now. They talk this shit, but these speak of facts. Like anybody, if you go through Chicago, Detroit, New York, hometown people like that, that type of environment is gonna feed on that. And then if you are outsider, we don't fuck with you. The same way if you wear a Yankee hat, some of else people don't like you just because you wear the Yankee hat. If you from Dallas and you come to New York thinking you're gonna rock, you gonna get ate the fuck up. I don't say please talk to these guys, bro. You. You're too fucking quiet. <laughs> hey, man, I'm listening, bro. I'm listening. It's nervous. Yeah, it's yeah, I, it's yeah I, already, I, already put my, I already put my wallet away just in case. I don't want to get uh, through the screen. But, but I, I want to ask you one question, though, man. The evolution of 5150. You already know with, with Corner being the mastermind. We got Hernandez got homicide for a long time. Danny became... Uh, Ortiz and Santana for a while. And now as you guys here, boom. Like right now, is there any difference between you guys and the original, the second one? Or do you feel like it's all just one big family and we're just carrying the whole name all the time? I feel like we're trying to carry the legacy from a success uh, standpoint. We want to be hot we want to be street we want to be champs but in ring style we got our own thing going on you know what i mean homicide hernandez wrestled one way you know uh Centeno ortiz wrestled one way we wrestle our own way we don't copy them we don't try to do what they do our chemistry is different our chemistry is still like developing but we're not trying to copy nobody. We're not trying to, even as singles guys, we're not trying to copy nobody. Like, we're doing our own thing. This is our own thing. This is a new, is new, new blood. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really, you, you can, we just another, we just another evolution, but not, we're we not evolving from their style. we just evolving as far as being street wrestlers. We a new, we a new flavor. That's it. Yeah, I mean, slice, slice hit, hit it on the nail right there. You know, Homicide and Hernandez, they did their thing. You know, Santana T did that thing. They're still doing their thing over at AEW. And, you know, now you got me and Slice picking up the mantle. Um, and all we can do is just, like we said earlier, be ourselves, be us, be authentic to who we are, and, and make the shit rock. Like, we we have a game plan. We know what we want to do. Anything that we bo- anything we, we go out to set ourselves to do, we want to be the best at. So right now we we doing the tag team thing. We rocking, you know, we all fights together, we partying together, we going out, we studying, we wrestling, we winning championships all over the place. Like that's that's who we are, you know. And all that we can do is continue to, you know what I'm saying, make Conan proud, make the legacy of fifty one fifty LAX proud. Like I'm sure when it first got announced that we were doing the LAX fifty one fifty thing now, there was some haters, there was some doubters. We don't give a fuck about any of that. You understand? We don't care about what anybody's saying. We let our work speak for us. And right now, we're carrying the legacy. So, And we got Homicide with us, too. We got Conan with us. We got some originals there, you know, to, to mentor, lead the way, and shit like that. But we're very capable of doing this shit. We're very capable of making 5150 LAX mean something again. Yeah, my dream match is you guys against Santana or Ortiz. That was my dream match. Everybody keeps saying that. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to yeah, see bro. it. I would like to be like all together in one group, but just one time, like you know, one time only. You know, at the LAX versus fifty-one fifty. Blah. You know, just put it there. 
See, see what, see, see who's, see which unit is the, is it comes out as deemed the number one man. That'll be crazy right there. Well, oh, Puerto Puerto Rico, Rico, we're not really focused on that. Like, yeah, yeah, we're not focused on fighting our previous. You know what I mean? Our predecessors. It's not. It's not what we worried about. That's like us saying, "Oh, we would like to fight homicide," and not homicide is coming out, yeah. fucking fighting those parks with us. Like, yeah, I yeah. Mean, it's just not on the back of our mind. Like, yeah, it, 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 want it, to fight everybody else. Yeah, like, yeah. like eventually yeah. down the road, if, if hey, if we ended up under the same roof, you never know. But like, that's not where our energy's going. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I and, got and it. Shout out. Yo, shout out to Homicide, man, for this past weekend getting the uh, Independence Hall of Fame club. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, that shit was a good show. I watched that on, on YouTube. Yeah, he's that still shit. doing his thing. He's still doing it. You know, he's not slowing down. Yeah, that shit, that shit was a nice good show. They had a real nice setup, too. Yeah. So I, Now, I got to ask you, fellas, and you might have different answers, but with MLW having this featherweight division, if you could bring in one female to LAX, and she could jump into that featherweight division. Who would you want as the female who rocks with y'all that fits with y'all? Like that. All right. So originally, I had this conversation. Um, <clears throat> I had this conversation with somebody, and then they went and they got signed with AEW and shit like that. You know. Um, Damn. Yeah, yeah. But hey, that's where the bag at for us. I, I respect her decision. But if if Mercedes would have came through, that shit would have been litty. Um it's what Al, if I had a if I had to pick a female, I'm gonna let Slice go first. I don't wanna say nothing right I now. Honestly, I can't I can't think of like I don't know any like I, I got one. Spanish I got joint. one already. I got one I got, already. I don't know any mean Spanish joint like What's yours? There's you two. you got one? You got one? Who you got? I okay. don't know. I don't know. There's two. Okay, I watch two mad games. Japanese women wrestling, and I don't think a Japanese woman would fit in our nah, game. Nah, nah. Like, <laughs> there's, is, is, there's Mercedes Martinez, which she's gone, and Ivelisse is my other choice. Ivelisse. Hi, Ivelisse. Yep. I mean, I think she, she, I think she, she has she, the energy. Yeah, she matches the energy. That girl straight hood, bro. That girl, she talks straight hood. That girl be perfect in there in fifty one fifty. She <laughs> she already rocks the. I mean, she with the bandana, the red, everything, bro. Perfect. Unless Danny has somebody else in mind. Nah. Yo, yeah, you I put into her work. But hold up, you say you, you say you say you were gonna her. see yours, Danny. <laughs> I plead the fifth, homie. Ah, oh, dude! <laughs> you Listen, said, say, you said, I'm gonna get slice boogie to go first before I said mine. He just said he, he plead the fifth. He ain't trying to incriminate uh, himself. Well, I don't know look, anybody look, else. Look, Eva Lee, she's she she does fit. She fits the description for sure. She's a good wrestler. She talks her shit. She's gangster, you know. But yeah, she. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'll say, what else you got for that, man? Come on, man. You're slowing it well, down. You know, no, man. You know, we, we saw the shows from Azteca and Lucha. We're still watching those. You guys in the first two shows, especially that show, man, you guys were the first half hour was just 5150 from the parking lot to the actual match to then beating the shit out of Arrow Star and Drago right there in that little outside met you guys were right there but then you guys went the following week and tried to beat up aerostar who turned out to be some little 10 year old kid like what the hell was that about that was my fault and then I, danny I, gave him five yeah, bucks and so i'm walking up from deep and danny thought it was him i'm like aerostar it looked just like him though same size same size <laughs> Nah, once I picked them up, I was like, nah. I didn't even pick them smoke. up the same way. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious, man. And then Danny comes out here, here's five dollars, man. <laughs> no, that was my five dollars. I, I still want that. That now, shit now was gotta hilarious. Do me a favor, let me find like twenty dollars outside. That's, you know, I did the right thing. 
I could have just punched the little motherfucker right in the back of his Knock head. Knock his ass out. You should have. Yeah, and then you guys got to arrest in Mexico for real. Yeah. He was Man. blonde. You know, he, he, who knows whose son he was. You know, a, a crooked politician or something. I don't know what he was doing, where he got that outfit. I was confused, bro. Halloween, why he dressed up? I was confused about that whole situation, man. Uh, Mexico is a weird place. <laughs> was it fucking Halloween? It wasn't Dia de los Muertes. Why he went? My around son, to- if my son wears an entire wrestling outfit, I'll slap him in the back of his neck. <laughs> with a fucking banana peel. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He can have a shirt. He can have a shirt. That's it. <laughs> Yo, this Ooh, is that shit. So check it out. We got to talk to Rivera right like a week before he went to AEW, right before yeah. Joe Rib dropped. Uh, I know you're doing another another movie where I think you were like prison overalls or something like that, or you were yeah. like, you, I don't know, you're on TV. You're fucking everywhere. Let me just say that. You're like yeah. everywhere right now. So you're hot as shit. You're doing your thing. And it's like, what the hell is next for Danny Limelight? Like, what? I know you're working on something because you're always working on something. Yeah, um, I got some things coming up. You know, I got two movies re- releasing in 2022. One of them is called Dark Asset. Um, I play like a super soldier type type uh, body. You know, like if you were, if I don't know if you guys remember Universal Soldier, the yes. band. I Thank play you. like guys. Got a huge fight scene with the main actor Byron Mann, who um, he was in. You know, Wu Assassins. He was right you in the OG Street Fighter film. Um, yep. He's in Altered Carbon, so he's the main actor in that film. It also uh, features Robert Patrick from Terminator, you understand? So he's in the film. So I got a pretty sick fight scene uh, in that movie. Um, and then I got another one coming out. Hold on. Uh, my shit is bugging real fast. It's uh, It's coming out in May. It's called Lord of the Streets. It has Creech from... Uh, Naughty by Nature in it. They got Rampage Jackson in it. Anderson Silver's in it. Khalil Roundtree's in it. Um, I'm in yeah. there. That's the one that I was wearing the prison overalls in. I play a prisoner. Um, I get into a huge fight with one of the main actors in the film. Um, do some behind the scenes stunt work as well. Um, so I'm excited for that one to drop. It's going to be a sick action film. I can't wait for everybody to see that. So I got those two feature films dropping in 2022. Um, the WWE 2K22 games drop, and I did all the motion capture shit for that as well. So Damn. shout out to the WWE 2K22 team for, for bringing me out to do the motion capture for that. Um, my NCIS episode just aired in January. Yeah. Um, I saw that. Stuff coming down the pipe. I just I just did some pretty big auditions. As a matter of fact, my boy Slice helped me out with an audition this last week for a TV show called FBI on CBS. So hopefully that kicks off as well. Um, hopefully I booked that, but I'm just staying busy, you know. I still got my daughter; she's still auditioning, she's still grinding too. Um, so we 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 rocking and rolling, you know. We got then obviously the wrestling. We got some MLW shows coming up, some New Japan shows coming out. So just just staying busy, and I'm going. To, I'm like, going to school right now too, so I'm doing that on the side. I'm going to acting school as well. So now I was going to ask you, your daughter had got the one for McDonald's. How's that working out? That little girl made 24 bands off of that commercial. Jesus. She chilling. She going to be 18. She going to have a fat ass bank account. She ain't going to need nobody. What, and she, she's like what? Like 8 or 10 now? No, she's going to be 8 in April. She's 7. Okay. Oh, and by the way, shout outs to you, man, for Christmas. That PS5. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said, God damn. Fucking lying right out here. That only fans money is paying him good. <laughs> <laughs> The only fans money is making stop saying that because somebody that gonna shit. be real. And then they're gonna be uh, like, they gonna get it work. They're right. gonna start like, yo, wait, where's the link? Where's the link? Link in bio. <laughs> yeah, I'm for real. I'm so yo, man. I'm not even lying to you. I, I, I'm straight. I'm a hundred percent straight. But every time I see you and, and your shit that you're doing on your little <laughs> IG stuff, I'm like, God damn it, if this dude don't start IG or uh, only fans page by now, pause, oh, bro, Come and on. get that extra money. <laughs> And oh, get that dog. extra money. I mean, shit, that would be the easiest money you could do right now, bro. Man, uh, you're giving this guy some spicy-ass fucking advice right now. Like, I'm just saying, this dude right now, he be making more money than wrestling doing that shit right now. He's, he's good. Yo, can we get off this fucking OnlyFans shit, man, please? 
That's all he was doing. That's all. Can we throw a flag on the play? Yeah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Got that little flag. Flag. Here. flag. Got there. You go. Here you go. Yeah, 15, 15 yards. 15 yards. And slice, man. What the hell you doing? Don't talk to me about the OnlyFans shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, bro. Stop playing with me. No, that's good. Because he just gave his whole resume. It's slice, lady. Man, I'm just going to sleep, work out, and wrestle. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to stay out of jail, man. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> You never know, man. My wrestling career might could be done tomorrow. It'd be like, what happened to Slice? Oh, he shot somebody in the knee over a fucking. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey. Never know, know, bro. Oh. Damn. So check it out, Slice. Listen, and I got such a a, a loaf. Let me let me just say pause because it's it's hard to talk like this because this guy's on his own fan shit. But being hey, that man. we're literally from the same hood, like I'm super high on you. We've been high on you guys since fucking championship wrestling of Hollywood before yes, the AEW thing, before everything popped off. We've been wanting you to come over and see more. Well, we got you with LAX 5150. There's, there's got to be a, a, a fucking feeling when you sit back. Coming from where you come from, I know where you come from. Like, yo, fuck, I'm, I'm making it. Like, everybody thought I wasn't shit. Everyone thought I'd never fucking make it. You're bringing that Project Hallway shit onto TV where people might think, yo, this shit is a gimmick. We know it's not. But you're successful. you making bread. That's got to be such a dope feeling. And for everybody back home, like, this is our fucking product. This is what we know. And you're that guy. You're like the face of, of, of and I'm going to say Queens because you're, you're a Queens dude. I'm a Queens dude. What's up? All that. Yo, dude, like, salute to you. But how does that feel being like, Someone telling you another dude from where you're from that you represent everything about that, and it's not. I mean, you saying that, Danny was telling me the other day, like, sometimes, I mean, to be realistic, I'm not making millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. So I'm not always happy. But Danny is like, it's not about that. You know what I mean? You, you'd be probably motivating some kid in the hood who thought he could never do nothing with his life. Same kid who probably saw me, you know? Like, let's be real. Before wrestling, I did what I had to do. But I'm I'm trying to step out of that and start a new dream. Not as a 20-year-old, you know what I mean? And I was able to follow my dreams and do something that we all love growing up. So motivating people, yeah, I'm proud of that, you know, that I'm able to motivate people. Even if sometimes I don't, it doesn't motivate me. You know what I mean? I have to look at what, how I'm affecting everybody else and how, you know, chasing your dreams eventually will turn into millions. And if not that, at least you got to inspire other people. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to inspire people that there's more than one way out the hood. You know, it's not just death or in jail. So, you know, like, I mean, like, it is... You know what to do it for the hood. Like when I do wrestle in New York, the hood's gonna be out. It's gonna be a lot of shady individuals, but they they gonna be there to celebrate <laughs> me. You know, they gonna be there to celebrate me, and they proud of me. And even like a lot of people from my hood be telling me, oh, "I'm proud of you, bro." Yada yada. Even if I'm not like the happiest camper, you know, but if I can make them, you know, inspire them and make them proud, you know, it, it, that matters. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> You know the rule. It's either you you get hot or you play ball. You know what I'm saying? And playing ball don't mean you're going to be successful neither. So you getting on TV, you on Vice TV, you on YouTube, you know, they see you, they, they see Danny Limelight, they understand, holy shit, it's not like a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you guys are putting on some fucking costume and you're trying to be like the fucking Undertaker. No disrespect. But <clears throat> everything that they understand like, you know that feeling when you come out the fucking house and you go into that elevator and stink like fucking piss. And, you, you know, you it puts you in a bad fucking mood. But then they see people like you guys. They're like, these motherfuckers could make it out. We can make it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's where I'll never stop trying to give you, you guys your flowers because you represent everything of the struggle. And even if, if, if shit ain't boiling and you're not breaking bad bread and everything, you're still living a better life. Than it than inside the hood, you know what I'm saying? So it's still another way to say, yo, 
We're still living good. We are all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And I also like the fact that we that we have creative freedom to be who we are. You know what I mean? Like if we did, let's say we wanted to sign the NXT, who knows what they'd turn us into. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. no. Don't go there. I'm just saying, like, everyone's not yeah. fortunate enough to have to be who they want to be, to be who they are. I didn't I haven't been wrestling that, that long and I never had to change, you know, shit up. I came out who I was and it worked and I was lucky. And it also had to do with where we were. I'm in LA. I'm repping New York heavy. So they remember LA New York beef. And like I was alive for that. When Biggie died, I was like in sixth grade, whatever. Yeah. Like I was like, oh shit. Like so I got I was so like I'm giving them the energy that I had like back then. That my brother had eight years older than me. Fuck them. You know what I mean? And it, I just popped off. So the fact that we get to be who we are, Danny gets to do what he wants to do, bring girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's comfortable. We're comfortable. We're not uncomfortable. They're not putting a fucking, we're not sailors from the fucking Caribbean. We're not pirates of the Caribbean trying to, you know what I mean? Convince anybody. Nah, these guys are funny. Oh, shit. You gotta get, and when you meet us in person, we the same way. Yep. So That's like, true. So, like, you're gonna meet, like, what you see is what you get. I might not always be super like angry. Maybe I'll be in a good mood, but what you see on MLW is what you get for the most part. And people want that. People want authentic. People want something they can believe. Thanks. Yeah, I've met you guys three times already down in Philly. Every time I walk in the place, Danny's dancing and you in the back with a henny. <laughs> Holding up the wall. Like he got the club and shit. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta you gotta post up and, and check the, yeah. the surroundings. You know that 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 slides even if three times in at the, uh, right there at uh, ECW Arena. He been in the place three different times. He's still looking up just in case. So Ose, you let me ask you a question. Head on a swivel. You you have, know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ose, you got any more questions? Because if not, I gotta ask him something on your behalf because I know you was hype on. Yeah, yeah. I gotta ask him a quick question. Um, you guys tag team. You guys been around around the place. Where have you not been yet that you want to go? Like a different country, different state. I want to wrestle in Chicago. I want to wrestle in Miami. This guy is crazy. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this Miami. guy wants the fucking humidity on the back of his neck. <laughs> sweating just so that after he can meet a Cuban girl. Like, this guy's crazy. Of course. Hey, like Cubanitas. Like I want to wrestle in Chicago and Japan. That's it. I want to wrestle in the UK, too. Yes. They, right. yo, like, oh, yeah, whatever. Listen, they would be perfect for fucking ICW out there. Yeah. So, the UK. listen. Now, I know Onse is, is the biggest LAX guy. Anywhere up north that you guys go for MLW, he's going to be there. It's what he does. Okay. Brings his flag all the time. I was able to ask uh, Slice Boogie, uh, nice Slice Boogie, um, Julius Smokes, when we interviewed him, and I got to ask you guys, because we're here, because this is it. We're going to try to make it official. Slice was like, you got to ask the big homies, which is you two. He name dropped you two. If old say 5150, who's sitting right here, one of the interview guys, could be the official 5150 flag guy, is it okay? Can he dub that as the official flag guy for 5150? I don't know if I have the green light to say so. I would say yes. <laughs> My vote would be yes. Yeah. Because he was fucking with us the first time. When we came out, he knew who he was. He was banging with us. like. Yeah, facts. I don't know if I could vote yes or no. I don't have the uh, full control. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, no. what you say, Danny? I said, if you... If you <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still, you know, waking up from last night. Yeah. But if you had a show and your flag is there, we're going to grab it every time. Yes, you guys do every time. In reach, we're going to grab it every time. We've done it every time. We're going to grab yep. it every time. If you want to be known as officially as 5150 flag guy, we bless that. I bless that. 5150 flag guy, right? You know? Uh, you know yes. Oh, yes. What's wrong with that? Like, you used to have fucking Hawaiian t-shirt guy in ECW. You could be 5150 yeah. flag guy. 
Why not? See, I'm, I told you I'm, I was gonna ask. I'm changing my handle on you on Twitter later when we get off. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's gonna be my new my new Twitter handle right there. Fifty. Yeah, 51. but you know, like whenever, like whenever, like the kingdom, you know, like the kings, and the knights, they have that little, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. You gotta bring us a bottle of henny at the next show, though. To, to, oh. to offer as tribute. So that would mean it's like <laughs> offer oh, as tribute. <laughs> 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 hey, that's that's that's. Hey, I would definitely do that. And I know Slice wants. I know Slice wants those those are peach snapper juices with the, that oh, he told me. Peach snapper iced tea, yeah, yeah, but that's like yeah, that. I, do, I don't do that with Henny, you know. I don't do that. That's like early morning with the chopped cheese or the you know bacon egg and yeah. cheese. Like, come on, man, we not. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, see, I'll, I'll bring I'll bring I'll bring Danny the the Henny bottle, and I'll bring you my EBT card. I'm put yeah. it right there. I'm mean, huh? EBT I mean, card. I'm dead. Can we end it on that? Yeah. End it on that. I'm fucking That's done. It. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, for myself, the baddest motherfuckers in the building, we out of here. Deuce.